on some hush puppy shoes. Let's play it one time. Woo! We had a listing assignment. Uh, I, I had uh, <clears throat> discovered uh, by happenstance. This is this is how things happen in my world. I was listening to a band from Austin, Texas called uh, The Bad Livers, uh, which is a bad name, but a good band. They are they one of these kind of outfits that take all kinds of stuff and crams it all together. And uh, they're, uh, you know, kind of interesting. I hadn't heard them in a long time, and I was doing some checking up about to see where they were. And they mentioned the this band uh, from Joplin, Missouri, called uh, the Ben Miller Band as kind of, uh, they viewed them as kind of up and comers in their their little space. Uh, and this uh, this interview was from a few years ago, I think about 2014. And it turned out that there was a record that the the Ben Miller Band had put out. And I said, well, if I like these guys and these guys like these guys, I'm going to listen to them. And I, so I listened to it and I said, huh. And I said, uh, because I know Missouri has two cities. It has uh, St. Louis and it has Kansas City. And somewhere in this state is Joplin. And I don't know where it is, <laughs> but I figured it either uh, any of the uh, three other guys could know where it is. And so I would uh, pick it and give it to Bob. Uh, and so it's a, ge it's a geography based assignment, really. Uh, part of it is for me to figure out by you telling me where where uh, Joplin actually is uh, and that I could kind of figure out the rest. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, okay. So I will take on your geography assignment. And uh, Joplin is a decent sized city down in Southwest uh, Missouri. And it's not too far from the Oklahoma border. So it's down there in the, the bottom Southern part of the state. And um, you can, I think from Joplin, you can throw a rock and hit Oklahoma. <clears throat> and I have to um, admit a little bit of embarrassment that I didn't know this band existed, even though it's here in my backyard. And it's also into a genre of music that, as an old, longtime Missouri Ridge runner, I really like. And interesting that you mentioned the Bad Livers, because um, I actually have one of their CDs, I think, called Hogs on the Highway. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm familiar with them. Um, Got to thank you for this, Bill. I really enjoyed this album. This is a, a unique band that mixes a lot of genres, and they use some really interesting and eclectic mm -hmm. instruments. Um, they have a lot of homemade instruments they use, like, you know, a, a stand-up washtub bass with, with um, um, a string from a weed eater, you know, as on there. <laughs> uh, they have washboards, and uh, they use cheap guitars and stuff, you know, but they've managed to put together a pretty intriguing sound with this. Um, it's very lively. And I've watched some of their videos in addition to listening to the, to this album. And I think they'd be a fun band to watch live. Mm -hmm. their, their shows look really enthusiastic. <laughs> Some good songwriting. Um, they have one song on this album that I just have fallen in love with called The Prettiest Girl. And uh, it's got a neat hook to it, you know, and the chorus is, you know, you're the bell of the ball, but the ball's almost over, you know. And, <laughs> and uh, the guy talking about, yeah, okay, you're beautiful now, but that's not going to last. It's just a neat hook. And uh, the lead off song, The Outsider, really cool number. Um, so I've really enjoyed this. And um, they, like I say, they have some interesting genres on here. They even do kind of a Rudy Valley 1920s vaudeville type thing. In uh, 2011, Joplin got hit by a massive tornado that just devastated the city. And I was part of a emergency response task force that went up to Joplin. The Ben Miller band happened to be in Lawrence, Kansas, which is not far from where I live on the day of the tornado. And uh, they've done, I think, some benefit albums and stuff to try to help you raise money for the city. 
I like the mixture they have here of country, bluegrass, rock, just lots of interesting things put together that you wouldn't think would work, but they pull it off and they mm -hmm. do it really, really well. So I've enjoyed this album. Uh, thank you, Bill, for turning me on to it. And it's something that's going to be in my regular rotation now. And I'm going to be checking out the rest of the stuff from these people. Thanks a lot, Bill. I really appreciated this one. Well, uh, I'm glad you liked it, Bob. I, I was really, uh, you know, I was blown away by them, too, because you, you actually, you'd think with that kind of instrumentation that it was either going to be like either revivalist or kind of a kitsch thing. It's not. It's it's just that these are what they use and they make, uh, a you know, a very, uh, very tasty stew of stuff. And I think they call it, you know, Ozark, Ozark Stomp. Yeah, Ozark <laughs> it's, Stomp. Uh, it's a it's a really great sound. So uh, we've got two uh, big thumbs up. The, their discography is uh, not terribly large. I, I, the, their most recent record came out in 2018, and I am eager to see more stuff come out of them if they're still a, still a going concern because they are a great band and a lot of fun. I'd love to see them live, just like you said, Bob. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> thanks thanks uh, everybody for tuning in and uh, stay tuned for more listing assignments. Let's play one.